Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing Mr. Hop's Playhouse 3. It's finally come out, guys. I know a lot of you were waiting for this one, and so have I been. In fact, Mr. Hop's Playhouse 2, I believe, came out nearly two years ago now, in June of 2021. So yeah, it has been a while, but Mr. Hop's Playhouse 3 is finally finished, and the developer very kindly gave me an early copy to play for you on the channel. So without further ado, let's dive in and see what this game is all about. Six months ago, I defended myself from a monster that took away my home and my parents. I thought that my friends would be there for me, but when I told them what happened, they just laughed at me and spread rumors like I was some crazy killer. It got so bad that I had to drop out of school. Things have been awful ever since my Nana died. I wish she could call me her little gem and tell me everything was going to be okay. Just one more time. So we're playing as Ruby by the look of it. And of course, we just referenced Esther, who's her grandmother. If you guys haven't seen the story of this game, um, I have done a story explain video of Mr. Hop's Playhouse 1 and 2, which I will link at the end of this one. So here we go, guys. Look at this. It's all in 3D, which is pretty awesome. Of course, the others were 2D. Little doll here. My hiding Holly doll. My only friend in the world. Aw, oh, it's kind of sad that that doll is her only friend. <laughs> what have we got over here? Got some notes. I like to draw. It always helps me feel better. You can see her drawings there. They're not really drawings, they're more like just squares on a page. <laughs> but there we go. That's what she likes to draw, I guess. Can we run? Is there a run button? Let's have a look. I assume this is the house from the original Mr. Hop's Playhouse. We've got a bathroom, ladies and gentlemen, with a, a ducky in the bath. That's so cute. Look at that. Awesome. <laughs> Laundry basket. Can't really do much in here. Ooh, spooky. Lightning outside. It's a radio. Nothing on the radio. <gasps> There's the s that is for Mr. Hop's theme. Did you guys catch that? It was like ding, 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 ding. That's pretty creepy. Right, I guess we get out of this room as well then. Nothing more to see there, apart from a creepy radio. We're downstairs. Through here. The kitchen. Ooh, a note. Ruby, pizza is in the fridge. I'll be home late, Aunt Debbie. She's just left her on her own, traumatized kid. We can't open the fridge, what the heck? We can't get our pizza, guys. Can we go through this door, no? Okay, well, Aunt Debbie's gone. She's just left us on our own. That's great. Oh, I took a glass. Okay, I missed a glass in here, guys. I don't know if that's important. Here we go, he filled up the glass. Oh! Oh no, I hate the dark. That's not good. Okay, what do we do? Do we crouch? Guess not. Come and find me? Where's that coming from? Sounds like it's coming from over here. Oh, it's the doll. Man, why is this your best friend? It's creepy. Wow, you found me. Yeah. Holly? How did you get down here? Get back to bed. You don't have to tell me twice. Turn around. No, what the heck? She's telling us to turn around, guys. Let's get away. Let's get back to the bedroom. Let's walk, let's walk, let's walk. Don't know why she's not running. Don't know why there's not a run button. Never mind. Let's just go to bed. Ruby, it's me. Open Who's that? Dad? Open the door, Ruby. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Or do I do it? I don't know. Man, I'm just following what the father saying because that's the right thing to do right I just don't feel like it is for dad oh god give yourself to us no way we're not doing that that'd be a big mistake man I don't like how narrow these corridors are wait is this a dead end yep there's mr. hops no, man, that is creepy. Demonic toys. Oh, God. <laughs> he got us. Okay, that's the intro. Intro complete. I like the animations, though. They're cool. Where are we? In hell or something? 
I? I can't believe he found me. Oh, now we can run. Now we're able to, like, actually run about. Because it was kind of annoying me how we just had to walk, like, at a snail's pace. Alright, this is cool. We can run now. Collect up rubies, because she's called Ruby. Well, I guess they're more like crystals, right? Remnants of much larger, more powerful stones can be found all throughout this domain. A testament to the Dark Lord's riches. A sliver of the Six's energy surges through them. Alright. It's in a strange language I don't understand. Do you guys remember the Six were like these different symbols we had to collect? Um, which made this necklace and that allowed Esther to kind of vanquish the evil. You guys remember Mr. Hop's Playhouse 2. We picked up that. Again, I would probably suggest watching my recap story video if you guys want to know what's going on. Because I actually watched it the other day to remind myself. It was quite useful. I'm glad I made it. Oh, okay. I'm going to avoid that. Alright, we got spikes. Spikes everywhere. Oh, okay. Yeah, did not mean to do that. Here's another medallion piece. So we've got two medallion pieces. We've got one for Mr. Hops. I think we've got one for Miss Bow. We need Mr. Stripes next. Ooh, that was close. Yes, look, we need to put the three medallion pieces into this. So far, we only have two. We need to find one more. Okay, here's another piece. This is the Mr. Stripes one. So we've got all three medallion pieces, but I do want to check around just to make sure I haven't missed anything else down here, you know? Got some more gems here. I'll just collect these up as well. I don't know if, like, getting all the gems in a certain area... Oh, yeah, that did sing. Did you hear that noise? Guys, what has that done? There we are. Done. Hey, we're into some kind of house. What is this, the Blackwood Manor? I think the demo took place in the Blackwood Manor. This could actually be the section from the demo, I'm not sure. Hello? Can anybody help me? Anybody there? Okay, let's keep going. What the heck is that? Got a hole in the wall. I'm worried something's gonna come through that. <laughs> we got more little gemstones though, we'll collect those. Ooh, we got a horse. Okay, keep a mental note of that. She can never know the truth. Who can't? Ruby? I guess they're talking about Ruby, right? A key. Nice. Okay, we've got a key item, quite literally. But um, Now we just need to find a doorway for that key. Oh, look at that as well. We've got like a deer up there. We can open this door. Let me just check around here, guys. We've been in there. I guess we go through the double door, but I just unlocked. Oh, here we go. We're in Blackland's Manor. Look, it is Blackland's Manor. Okay. I feel like I've heard of this place before. She feels like she's heard of it, but she's never been there, unless her grandma told her about it. Let's go down the elevator, though. And check downstairs. Okay. Oh, what the heck? Go, 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 go! Back to the elevator! Back to the elevator! Okay, it was bad to come down there. Do not go back downstairs. That was crazy. What was that thing? Like a demon? One of the knights of the entity or something? I guess we go down this side. So we try and, like, avoid him. That's kind of crazy. Can we actually, um, crouch? No. We can only crouch on the spot. Kind of sucks. We got a little key though. Don't know what it's for. Can't hide in uh, in the cupboard. And I'm kind of scared. Oh, he's there. Can I crouch? He's just gonna walk past. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> no. Freak. Go, 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 go. Ah! No. No, 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 no. Okay, we escaped. We escaped. We got the key and we got out. Man, that was actually kind of freaky. Where are we going now? Straight ahead, I guess. What the heck? I didn't even know that was there. I need a health pack immediately. Oh man, I remember these things. You gotta duck underneath them. Okay. 
Like that, look at that. Go. Nice. Ooh, what is this? Like a, a mass of vines everywhere. Ooh, a puzzle. Okay. So we've got a pushable block and we've got symbols on the floor. The issue is we don't actually know which symbols go where. I guess this is like left to right and you have to figure out which symbol goes into which slot. Um, we're going to have to come back to this because I have no idea. We probably have to go the other way, kind of find a clue to it and then we can go through. Yeah, look, here we go. We've got the actual uh, symbols there. I've just taken a little picture of them so I can remember them because my memory is so bad. <laughs> so now we have to go back, I think. And we're going to want to try and arrange these symbols. So the first one is this one. So we want to push the block over to this. There we go. And push it again. Yeah, that's one. Yeah, and it's highlighted one. And it says it's correct. It's green. So the next one... I think is the other side actually. Nice. The next one was over the other side. So we need to push it to the middle again. And then push it this way and this way. Nice. One more to do, which will be of course the sort of trident shaped one. There we go. We did it. And I'm not going to hang about to find out what happens next. What the heck? We've got another one of these. The Dark Lord corrupts and feasts upon the souls of the living. A deity that once reigned as the guardian of hope now resides within the shadows of despair. Malevolent, spiteful, and fierce. Okay. Important information for the lore there, guys. Keep notes. Um, oh wait, is that Esther there? But she's a girl, she's like a little girl still in this realm. Because the entity did kind of corrupt her mind, didn't it? Or it was suggested that it had. That poor girl is tied up. I need to help her. So maybe she's been imprisoned within this realm, we've got to save her. That's kind of cool though, if it's like the, uh, like Ruby the granddaughter and then her grandma teaming up together. That'd be a pretty cool story. I reckon that's what's going to happen too. All right, where are we now? Oh my god. All right, that's weird. Has that got a switch in its mouth? It looks like it, doesn't it? A lever we can pull or something? So... We've got different urns, I assume. Because in uh, Mr. Hop's Playhouse 2, we had to place the urns on the correct plinths. We've got three different urns there. I don't know if they maybe represent like Esther, Isaac and Molly. The three kids. Maybe. Either way, it looks like we need to... We've got a dripping substance there. Maybe fill one up and put it on here. Yeah, this one's got the same symbol, which is like a timer symbol, like a sand timer. So maybe we get this. Oh, we can't. We can't collect it. Hmm. We can't collect any of these up yet. So I'm going to leave them for now. Okay, the switch did nothing. Oh! Crap! What do I do? It's like something out of God of War. What are we gonna do against this thing? Ah! We literally can't defend ourselves. Do we have to run out of room? We can't. We can't leave. Um. Okay. Oh, I can touch the vase now. I can touch the vase. Can I put it on here now? No? Okay. I put I picked up the wrong one, guys. I think I have to get the one with the sand timer on it. So we need to pick up the one from the middle. We can't put it on there yet, though. We have to put it... Oh, we put it up in the middle. And the sand fills up. Okay. Makes sense. We've just got to survive against this giant for now, though. <laughs> quick, quick, quick. Is it done? It's done. It's done. It's done. Okay, we put it down. We put it down. Come on. Okay. Now we've got to do the one with the three squirts of water. Oh man, this is actually hard. Okay, grab this. Place it down. Fill it. Now it fills with water. 
Yeah, so the sand to the sand, the water to the water, and then we've got one which is like an oil slick or something, or blood maybe? Whoa, okay. Just keep him out of our range. Come on, man, over here. That's right. Can't catch us. We got that. We put it down. Now we get the final one. Okay, he's missed us. He's missed us. Come on, big guy. Over here. I'm your gym session right here. We're giving you a workout. We place that one down. That's filling up with something. Don't know what. Ooh. Come on, man. No, it's not done yet. It's not done yet. It's not done yet. All right, now it's done. Now it's done. Okay, over here. Over here. Over here. Thanks, man. I'm going to get this. And now we can put this down here. Oh, we burned him. <laughs> I missed that. We burned him in the acid. That's kind of uh, harsh, but never mind. Okay, we survived the giant troll. Man, that was intense. Rest in peace, troll. Where are we going next? Oh, we have to grab this? Yeah, we have to take these down. What's that done? Oh, maybe that's freed Esther. Maybe now we can head back. Hey, she's free. Uh, thank you. Ruby? How do you know my name? Who are you? Ruby, it's me. I'm... Mr. Hop. No. He's coming. This isn't good. Run, Ruby. Okay, I'm going. You'd have to tell me twice. Oh, God. Look at Mr. Hop coming for us. Okay. Avoid the spikes. Avoid the spikes. Wow, he's gaining on us. I shouldn't have taken the time to look at him. I wanted to show you guys what the monster looked like. Ah! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Keep going. Okay, we're going to make it this time. We made it. Nice. We escaped. Whew. Well done, Ruby. You really are my little gem. Nana? I can't believe it. It's so good to see you again, dear. Aw. Reunited. Ruby, how did you get here? Mr. Hop, he found me. He took mum and dad away too. Oh no, this is all my fault. Nana, you used to live here, right? Don't you know a way out? It's different to how I remember. Let's keep moving. Let's go. So yeah, we're taking control of Esther now, the grandma. Wait, I can hear something. The heck is that noise? That sounds like an enemy on patrol, right? got something here. Looks like we need to like activate that somehow. We can play the piano. Doesn't seem to do much though. Unless that draws the enemy towards us. Unyielding in his royal reign, the Dark Lord stole the six medallions that kept balance among the realms and used them to forge three strong subordinates from the ever-burning fires, willing to gather more souls for his excellence. Nice. Nice little story. Oh, we've got- Oh, push the knights into maybe the main room, because we've got that plate, didn't we? In the middle of a room. Here we go. We got there in the end. This took me a while. Nice. What's that done? Does that open something? Maybe the door's up here? Nope. Oh, we've got another one here. So, wait, we've got a box there. Ah, yeah, there's one down there. Okay. I think what we need to do here is push the box to the other one, and then Ruby will stand on one of the plates. And then all three will be pushed down when we have to go through the door. Man, this is actually hard to push these boxes. Look, it's actually gone through the wall now. Hey, So we stood on the other plate and then all four were pushed down. So we can go on. I do want to quickly kind of just skirt back around and check I haven't missed anything. Oh, 
we got a little note, so we did miss this. The house never ends, or this house never ends. Hmm. Interesting. Oh my god, what the heck? Alright, that is weird. That was like a spidery version of Mr. Hop. Yes, me too. Yeah, man, spiders freak me out too. Alright, let's go. Is that the level done? No, it keeps going. This level's pretty vast. Okay. Isabel. No, no, who is that? Is she a person? Esther. It's so good to see you. I wish I could say the same. Why don't we all play a little game? We'll go first. <laughs> what the heck? Maybe we need to get that door open. I'll look for a switch. The demon Isabel. I think that was a girl possessed by the entity originally. So we have to like maybe flash these cameras? Is that right? They don't work, so that's obviously not right. Oh, okay, we cannot just explore the darkness because we die instantly. So let's not do that again. Right, so what are we doing here then? Oh, these plates close the doors. I get it. Oh, we can flash the cameras. So now we have to close this door because Mr. Hop's there. I get it. Okay. Makes sense. No one there. No one there. No one there. Okay, we're safe for now. We're good. We're good. We're good. This is kind of cool. I like this little mini game. Safe. Safe safe. We're all good. Safe. Safe. Hey! Oh, he's there again. That's close. That was very close. I think he almost got us then. Alright, let's check here. That's good. I think maybe Mr. Hops comes out of this one, and then the other two will come out of these. But at the moment, everything's kind of pretty chill. Oh man, he's back again! What the heck? Unless, do we have to wait? Do we have to wait until he turns into Mr. Hop before flashing him? I think that maybe that's what... What the heck? Oh, it's it's, it's well sorted. Done, Ruby. Are you okay? Yes. Let's just get out of here. All right. That was weird. I, yeah, I didn't know if I was doing it right or not. I didn't know if we were meant to be like waiting for Mr. Hop to like, you know, turn into Mr. Hop, so to speak. Wait, there's a door over here. Hey. Okay, we go this way. Yeah, that was confusing. <laughs> I didn't realize there was a door in the corner of the room. Okay, let's go. We're out of there. Okay, that is weird. That is the entity, I think, guys. A giant statue of it. Nana, what is that? That is the fallen guardian of hope. The entity. But that means we're in... Yes, dear. The underworld. How? This is where bad people go. We're not bad, right? No, of course not. Do you remember that necklace I used to own? The medallions? The ones you said protected us? Yes. I used them to keep the Entity and Mr. Hop away from us, but as I got older and weaker, I couldn't do that anymore. We must find those medallions. Oh no. Great. So we're separated once again. I have to get down there to her. Just jump, man. You'll be fine. Um, we got a mask here. That's kind of creepy. So yeah, look at that entity. That is actually uh, pretty spooky looking. I wish there was a way to tilt up for camera. You can't really tilt it up. You can just like move it around. Because I could have a, a proper look at these environments. Go, go, go. Nice. Okay, so I think what we need to do here is just press on on our own. That's close. Um, where are we going here? Collect some more gems. Oh, another one of these. During his harvest, the Dark Lord happened upon a young troubled 
spirit with hatred in her heart. He tempted her with luxuries and comforts beyond her imagination. If only she were to join him. She agreed. So that's Isabella, right? That kind of spirit we saw earlier of the, the other little girl. It's kind of interesting this because it is piecing the story together. It's basically what I thought the story was in my like kind of theory video. At least so far. Oh my god, you gotta run on this tiny, tiny platform. Ooh. Man. Okay, that was dumb of me. Ah. This is actually kind of um kind of sketchy. Because you don't get a lot of space here and it's hard to judge like if you're on the platform or not. Go, 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 go. Okay. We're gonna get all these gems, guys, because I'm pretty sure if we get all the gems, something good happens. We probably won't get the good ending on our first playthrough. I did check the Steam achievements, and there is like a good ending and a bad ending in the Steam achievements, so we are probably gonna be um having to do a multiple videos for that. But that's fine. I'll try and get you the good ending if I miss it on my first try. But now we'll just play through the game and uh, yeah, see what it's all about. Great, one of these giant Mario 64 blocks. <laughs> we escaped it though. Okay, good. Oh no! What the hell? It's one of those soldiers. Okay. I'm running this way. I don't know where I'm meant to be going, by the way. But never mind. We got a barrel. It's a pushable barrel. Oh, what the heck? I don't know what we do with these. I think this was in the demo this section. I remember we have to like rotate them, but I don't know what the the sequence will be yet. Yeah, there was two in this room as well, I remember now. We need to find out what the sequence is. I think we also need to push that barrel so it can go on there. Onto that little uh, switch. So let's have a look. See if we can push the barrel first of all. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to go this way. We'll try and find out what the sequence is first before we go back here. While that guy on patrol is uh, out of our way. So we'll go down here first. They must be stopped. Yes, your excellence. I will see to it. Do not fail me. That was close. Um, yes, here we go. This is the order, but we need to kind of do all these things in. And there's the key. What's down here? Oh, okay. I think this is the red room, actually. So this one would correspond to this one. So we need... Yeah, we need those symbols on it. So it needs to be that, and then it needs to be... Was it that? I'm so bad at memorizing stuff. Yeah, I think those two, right? Okay, so that should be right. Okay, so we've, we've memorized these. We've got red, blue, and green. So we need to go back. Oh, we've got a note as well. I swear that girl will be the death of me. Which girl is he referring to? Or are they referring to? That is the question. We've got a pushable block. I don't know where that goes. Alright, guys. I'm going back this way. Let's hope we don't run into uh, this crazy guy. Oh my god, of course we do! That scared the heck out of me. Alright, guys, what we're going to have to do is run around. Wait, he actually loses us fairly easily because he's there already. So what we do is maybe drop down this way, go around, hope that he's gone. Go, go, go. Alright, back we go. Nice. Okay, this is the blue room. Can we shut the door? No, of course we can't. Okay, the blue one was this symbol, and the other side should be this one, I think. Okay, that's done. Holy crap. Are you going to come this way? Hopefully he's not. I don't think he is, actually. 
Now he's gone there. I'm going to also try and push this to the other side. We'll do it nice and quick. I really wish there's a way you could just hold the push button and not do it like one push at a time, which makes it take like ages and ages. Because this guy's going to blatantly come back in a second. All right, go on. One more push to do it. Or maybe two more. Hey, we did it. So now this room is the green room. The green room requires us to put an X and a triangular shape. So let's try the triangle first and then the X. See if this works. Hey, I think it has. Sweet. Okay, so that's definitely done something. Now we just gotta hope we don't run into uh, this freaking guy. Ah, man. You know what, I'm running this way. Let's try and trick him around here so we get time to go back to the other room. That is insane. Right, let's um, go through here. Nice. Hey, there's a key. We got it. Done. Another room down. Wait, what the heck is that sound? We've got a flickering light. Aggressively flickering lights and crying. Neither of those things are good. The crying freaks me out, but flickering lights hurt my eyes. Man, this is a long staircase as well. She's getting her workout in. Oh, we've got Mr. Hops. We're literally descending into the depths of hell. <laughs> Is what it seems like right now. Do we run back up? Yeah, it... Oh my god. Okay, yeah, we did have to go back. And we pull the rope. Right, now what do we do? Do we go, go back down now? I think what we do is we run down until we see the symbol start flashing up. And then we run back. Oh, maybe not. We got back to the bottom of the staircase. That was a weird room. I'll have to cut that down. Because I was literally running down that staircase for like a minute. Activate three switches to open the gates. Okay, can do. More straightforward. So where do we go? Through here? Oh my god, Mr. Hop! Okay. He's on patrol. He's on freaking patrol! Guys, I don't know what we do here, man. We have to activate three switches, it says. So... we got to find the three switches, right? Oh! I think this is one. Nice. That's one switch. He's coming from that direction. You can kind of hear, because you can hear his like spooky music that plays. I'm going to go this way. In fact, let's run all the way to the top. There's got to be a switch at this end, right? Hey, there is, there is, there is. Okay, we've got one more to go. I don't like this. I can't hear him at the moment, though. Now I can. Speak of the devil. Just... Oh, my God! Yeah, I, I shouldn't have pressed my luck there. It's okay. Okay, maybe it's not okay. How are we getting out of here? All right, we've got one more switch to find. Mr. Hop's there. Oh man, he's going the way I want to go because we haven't explored down there yet. Of course he is. Little pain. Wait, he's coming back this way. All right, he's going up that way. That's good. We're going to go down here now. Final switch, done. Does that mean he's gone, that flashing light? Can only hope so. Oh, we got that sound again. I think that sound cues whenever you get all the items in an area. Let's get out of here. There we are. I think we've done it. That was pretty intense. Oh, This is more in the style of the original two Mr. Hops games. But who are we playing as? She looks pregnant to me. I don't know if she is, but... Looks like a pregnant lady. Okay, that is a bit strange. Giant eyeball in a window. But who is this character? This is what I want to know. She's pregnant or she's just eating a lot of spaghetti. Okay! 
That was the entity. And that looks like maybe her husband with her? I don't know. I need to get back to Nana and quick. We're in control of Ruby again. We're in the dungeon. Check those corners. I wouldn't want to be down here on my own. There's a door here. Here we go. And a note. I hear the whispering. Cryptic. Man, this place is like a labyrinth. It's insane. We can go through here. <gasps> There's a key. Nice. Okay. It was worth coming in this room. Because that's going to unlock a door somewhere. Let's hope that something doesn't show up to chase us, though. Because it's very claustrophobic and there's not a lot of space to move. Okay, so this... I think was where... Yeah, that's where the silver key goes. We need a gold key as well. Okie dokie. Let's get to exploring then. This is one of those games I can tell I'm going to be back playing for secrets because there's no way I'm going to find everything in these kind of mazes the first time through. It's just impossible. Oh my god! Bloody hell! That scared me. <laughs> we got another one of those crazy, like... I don't know what they're called. I call them knights. They're not really knights, though. They got little pitchforks, you know? Alright. We'll have to loop back round. Ooh, there's another one of these shrines. Preying upon the young using terror, the Dark Lord overindulged in his feasts until he attempted to steal the alluring soul of a girl named Esther. In his desperation to not let a soul so pure slip away, just as one had done before, he was reckless. Yeah, we remember that from the second game. There's a the gold key as well, nice. Oh my god, you freaky little thing. All right, come on, follow me. That's right. I want to get these little gems. No, do not attack me. Leave me alone. All right, we're going this way, guys. We're going this way. We're going to unlock the door and get out. Nice, we made it. Awesome. Probably into even more dangerous tunnels, but I'll take it for now. Oh no, there's Miss Bo, oh, the panda. Another toy. Do we touch her? She's not activating at the moment, so uh, I guess we just leave her be, right? But I'm guessing she's going to come to life pretty soon. And now I'll just keep exploring. There's so many gems here. Wait, what the heck is that? I didn't see... Was Did something appear? I didn't see anything. <laughs> I just heard a scary noise. Wait, what is that? There's like a little light over here. It was like guiding us. Oh, I can't go back. No, I've missed some gems. Uh, this is why I'm going to have to replay this game, guys, because it's so easy to miss gems. I didn't realise that would lock us out of a previous area. And you just know that Miss Bo, that panda, is going to be like on patrol very soon, right? Never mind. It's a dead end. We'll have to backtrack the other way, I think. Oh my god, okay. I uh, was not expecting that. Where do I go? Guys, I don't know where to go, man. Do I, do I go back this way? Wait, can I hide? Yeah, maybe I can hide. It worked, guys, it worked somehow. That is crazy, look at that. Bye bye. See you later. And it's just that easy, guys. There's more than one. I'm glad we went that way and realized there was like hiding spots before we ran into her. That was very close. What is that light? Does it want me to follow it? It's kind of guiding us down there. Let's activate that switch. Well, the last time we activated a switch like that, a giant troll showed up. So I don't feel completely safe doing this. We got that sound again. It sounds like we got all the gems in this area. 
Right, let's keep going. We made it. We survived. Can we please reunite with Esther now? Oh, we're getting another one of these cutscenes as well. The plot thickens. Maybe we'll find out a little bit more about who this person is. Oh man, it's the entity staring at us through the window that time. I wonder if this is like Esther's mum and dad, because she was in the orphanage, of course. We don't know exactly why. I really hope Ruby is okay. Back in control with Esther now. Play some soothing music. Our nerves have healed a little bit. We'll keep going through the house. Ooh, we've got one of these. Esther would not succumb to the Dark Lord's might. She managed to enter the realms where the Six lied and used them to overpower him. It was only in his defeat that he realized who this Esther was. He had been foolish. It's kind of good that it's got these recap points for people that haven't played the previous games. You can kind of just jump in and enjoy this one. It says, she is not like the others. Another cryptic note. Don't know who it's referring to. Maybe it's referring to Ruby, maybe Esther. More wavy, wavy axes. Swingy, swingy axes. Won't be going that way yet. A door there, but before we go through the door, let me check this one. Ooh, big key. Nice. Can we get through this door? No, that's locked. We just picked up a key, but it's probably too big for that door, right? So I guess we now go this way. Skirt around that. It's a bit like Dark Deception, isn't it? Collecting all these gems. This is a big library. A bit too empty and quiet, though. <laughs> I don't trust it. We'll check around upstairs and see what's up here. Ooh, what the heck is that? I need to find something that can cut through this. Cut it? It looks like a stone or something. Don't know what that's meant to be. Maybe that's meant to just be like a, a mystic gate or something. I don't know. But we'll find something to cut through it, because that's what we've been told to do. Got a bathroom and a broken mirror. Is that important in some way? <laughs> It's hard to tell with this game what means what, you know? Ugh. I cut my hand. Okay, did we take one or not? <laughs> I don't know, guys. I crouched to take a piece of glass and she said she's cut her hand. So I don't know if we uh if we collected up the glass or not there. Maybe we run Oh Are we saved? Has it come to take pity on us? Alright, that was weird. I feel like maybe we did pick up the glass because that cutscene did not activate last time. So let's try running back to that weird kind of wall and see if we can cut through it now. Is it gonna work? Yeah, we must have picked it up. Nice. Okay, progress has been made. Mr. Stripes, hello? How you doing? Do I follow Mr. Stripes? Oh man, I didn't know it was going to take us out of a level. It needs to signpost if you're going to be taken out of a level better. Because I didn't get to fully explore and collect everything there. I think the door should like glow if it's a, if it's an exit door or something. Because I hate missing secrets, but I, you know, I didn't know that I was going to miss any secret. Anyway, we've got Mr. Stripes up there on the shelf. So, it looks like we've got a number of switches to press down now. Can we push the chairs around to do that? Oh! Wait, what happens? Oh, he's there. What are we meant to do? What the heck? Oh my god! What, what's the objective here? Are we meant to get him to step on these switches? I don't know, guys. Oh, God. Can I leave? We can leave the room. Okay. We have to follow the light. Oh, the light's guiding us to whip the switches to press. Now it says go over here. Oh. 
it's saying to go over here, guys. But I... Yeah, there we go. Now it's saying to go over here. Done. There's one over here as well. Okay. Ooh, there's one over here as well. I think we did it. That was actually intense because you couldn't see where Mr. Stripes was. He was just like moving around the room. You had to follow that light and click on the correct panels on the ground. Man, that was actually intense. Okay, well. Finally, the first medallion. Hey! What do you mean, no? Oh, it's. Okay, the entity is here. Can I, um. Can I leave? Oh, we can attack. There we go. So we can actually attack the thing. We've got the medallion piece, so we've got one of our powers. Nice. Okay, that was cool. So I didn't realize we could attack that thing, but it makes sense. Do you think Miss Beverly ever smiles? Only when a puppy is in danger. Can we go play now? It's not a nightmare. It's real. So this must be the orphanage. Well, we know we're in the orphanage, but like this is the old room where Esther slept. Um, we saw that in the second game, of course. We can now cut through stuff. Look at this power. This is so cool. I didn't even realize we'd like initially picked this up <laughs> and the entity was just chasing me around. And then obviously we could have actually just killed it from the start. Oh. See, this little orb is, like, protecting us. Nice. Do we have to time this, maybe, so that we don't, uh... Yeah, we don't get too close to them. I'm sure this must be Esther's mom. It's gotta be, right? We're getting a little snippets each time, but... I'm still not 100% sure what's going on with that. And now we're playing as Ruby again. Where are we as Ruby? Ooh, this is weird. We're in like a play center. This looks like my nursery. Hmm. Right, here we go. Into the nursery. Oh god, there's a giant jack in the box. Who wants to bet is something going to come out of that and attack us? Because I would say yes. I would say that something is going to emerge at some point from this thing. Let's explore then. Let's see what this place is all about. I'm kind of a bit nervous. Did I just hear laughter? Oh god, it better not be a clown. Was that from a jack in the box? Oh my god, it's opened! What the hell? No, the jack in the box has opened and something's come out. And we just heard a laugh. That's got to be a clown, right? I hate clowns. Okay, never mind. Ooh, gems. No, I can hear it laughing at us. We've got a note. She speaks such nonsense. She sees things that aren't even there. Again, I don't know who that's talking about. Maybe Ruby. Maybe it's the other kids at school saying that. What's this? A puzzle by the look of it. Man, I don't like that laughter. It's kind of creeping me out. What are we meant to do with this? No, I don't get this. I think we need some kind of reference point for this puzzle, maybe, but we're missing, so I'm going to come back to that. Let's keep going. I'm kind of a bit spooked by this. Like, I feel like the clown's going to uh, just pop up at any point. Oh, what is this? Another puzzle room. Man, there's a lot of puzzles in this stage. Um, do we start with one, maybe? One, two, three, five, seven. Wait, where do we go next? We wouldn't go to six, would we? Is it like multiplying or something? Is it like one, two? One and two would make three. Two and three would make five. Five and seven. Oh, would make twelve. Seven and um, twelve would make twenty-four. Ah, uh, yeah, 24, 12, 36, I get it, then 60. Hey, okay, this one makes sense to me. This one makes sense. But what's that done? We just stepped on the star. Um, okay. I guess that's pretty open something up. 
this door maybe? No? Oh! Here we go. Can we operate this? Now look, it's got a star, a moon, and a triangle. We can't interact with this. I guess, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's happened. I don't know what we just did with that puzzle. Where's that laughter coming from as well? Oh, star. Okay, let's go back. We got the star. Let's go back and put the star on here. There we go. Okay, so that's one puzzle solved, and then we get the uh, corresponding shape, which is the star. Once we've got all three, that door's going to open. And I bet the clown will chase us, or whatever's come out of that jack in the box will chase us. Got another puzzle room. What does this mean? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> this is just shapes and colours. Okay guys, so, um, I was stuck on this puzzle for like an hour nearly. Um, well, both this and the other one. And I spoke to the developer and he gave me a, basically a clue. Well, he told me how to solve it because he said this is really hard to like figure out on your own. So basically, what we have to do, because you see there's two shapes here, and each one has a point, right? So this shape has one, two, three, four, five points, and this one would have one, two, three, four, so that would be nine. So then we press this nine times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine okay so that's the puzzle we have to do it for each one and i think this one also would be nine i think they're all nine actually maybe they're randomly generated there we go solved we should be able to go and get the other shape now so yeah i had to ask because i had no idea guys i was stuck and i was like banging my head against the wall like how do we solve this thing um but we've solved that one we just got to find the, the shape now i think it was down here somewhere hey so we've got triangle now we just need to go and solve the other one. And the other one, actually, all we have to do in it is match up the um, different colours on the wheels so that they all face the same direction. There we go. Deposited. Right, so let's go and solve the other puzzle. Okay, so with this one, what we need to do is get the colours to all face the right direction so that they're all, like, matching. I think this is the last one now. Hey, there we go. That's how you solve that puzzle. We should be able to get the last shape now and get out of this creepy nursery. Here it is. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't like that laughter. I want out. So let's deposit it here. And the door has opened. I'm bailing. Let's go. Now we're playing as Esther again. In the mansion. Man, thing is though, we've got like Mr. Stripes like trying to get us. Oh, we've got her power though, haven't we? I remember. Yeah, we've got the power from collecting the medallion. Oh! Oh no, we've got to defeat one of these. Okay. What the heck? How'd you hit me there? Run! Run again! <laughs> Nice. Okay, I'm getting the uh, attack down. It has a slight delay, so you have to time the enemy's attack accordingly. But that felt good. We vanquished the evil. I thought we could destroy the spikes, but we can't. That was very close as well. Through the door. Hey, we got a note as well. Almost missed that. I'm losing faith. Who's that from? Uh, which way do I go? I don't know. There's so many different ways we can go in this game all the time. If that door doesn't open yet. Run! Whoa! Come on, that was good. We got a key as well. And we've got four different horses. Can we push these? I guess they're just decorative. Yeah, let's see if we can do it again. Yes, look at that. Seamless. That's good athleticism there. Ooh, what is this? We've got a chain going down. And three different doorways, each with different symbols. Oh, we can actually light them up. Nice. Oh, I get it. So 
So I think what we have to do is hit them all really quickly. So one, two, oh no, two, three. Did that not work? There we go, he did it. That took me a while. I don't know guys, it's just spinning in the middle of a room. I don't know that I can do anything more with it for now, so we'll go. I'm gonna go back the way we've already come now, guys. Maybe something's unlocked. Oh yeah, this has opened up now. Sweet. Okay, progress is being made. I'll do what I like. What is this? We've got Isabel stalking us now as well. Everyone's after us. Man, this is a cramped living area. <laughs> Not gonna get a lot of people in that room. I do remember this place. And I tried so hard to forget it. They didn't even want me. Oh, it's kinda sad. Yeah, she didn't have a good time in that orphanage, did she? Okay, what the heck is that? It's firing acid at us. That's gross. Projectile firing enemies now. Nana? Oh, Ruby. Ruby! That scared me. Are you alright? Yes, but I think something is following me. Stick close to me. I can put an end to this. Nice. Yeah, let's do this. Let's end it. That's locked. Don't get stabbed on the spikes, Ruby, like I just did. Alright, we made it. Oh, the second medallion! Nice, medallion number two. Oh, we're playing as a guy now. Okay, we're in a town. See, I feel like this, I've said in the last episode, these are like uh, Esther's parents. I say the last episode, I might end up putting this into one episode, I don't know, guys, but... Either way, I said previously, I think these are oh, Esther's parents. I spoke with those above. I felt the presence of the divine. They say our child is special and in grave danger. Faith, come home. You are not well. Yeah, they give her up to the orphanage so she won't be uh, in danger, but she ends up in danger. That's probably the twist I reckon we're looking at here. But, as we got the medallion piece, do we have a new power is what I want to know. How did you do that? With the medallion's energy. It's how I beat the entity last time. Nana, you're so cool! Well, thank you, dear. <laughs> yeah, we are. We're very cool. Alright, let's go. Um... Stay behind oh me. no, Mr. Hot. Look at him. Okay. Do we run? I'm just gonna run, guys. Screw Mr. Hop. I'm not gonna hang about to see what he wants. Destroy these. Nice. That's locked. It's always fun to play the piano. Oh, we're looking for like 10 of these tentacles. I've just realized. See, it's now like taken down. Six, and we've got one of these as well. With the six tightly within her grasp, the fallen guardian of hope, along with his loyal servants, were confined to their own domain, imprisoned until her inevitable aging weakened her mortal body. Okay. Getting all the story for you guys so you can understand fully. Let's go downstairs and see what what there is downstairs. More gems. Can we do anything with this clock? It's a different colour. No. Oh. Oh no. Hello, Mr. Hop. We just looped around to the start again. Okay, we're looking for another four tentacles somewhere. I don't think we went this way yet. So let's uh, check around here. You always know if there are gemstones to collect that we haven't been a certain place. There's another one. And another one over here. 
Man, this thing doesn't shoot very well sometimes. Okay, let's keep going. Anything around here? Notes. Let's have a look. It wants her. Please keep it away from us. Man, I wonder if this was like, um, you know, Esther's family gave her away because they were scared of, you know, the entity wanting her. This is the door we have to get through when we've destroyed enough tentacles. We're missing two still. Here's one. Okay, one more. One more somewhere. Where is it? Oh my god! What the hell, man? Mr. Stripes out of nowhere. What the heck? Actually scared me. <laughs> Made me jump. I'm still looking for this last one though. Where's the last tentacle? Here it is. Okay, we've done it. Let's get out. I don't want to hang around here a moment longer. Um, where are we going? Is it this way? I don't even remember. I think it might be this way. Oh no! What the heck? Go, 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 go! She's rolling towards us! Okay, now we go, now we go, now we go. Man, this is getting crazy. You never know when a jump scare's coming anymore. It just... Oh, there's not even anything down here. What the heck? That's weird. That's like a randomized scare. Through here, through here. Okay, we made it. Where are we going now? Deeper into the depths. Nana, I just want all of us to go home. I know. And I will make sure of it. And things to go back to normal. Like you being really old. I know you meant well with that comment. <laughs> yes, a bit harsh. A bit ageist. Never mind. Um, A pit of acid. Right. No. What the heck? That's not the entity itself, right? This thing has got reach on it. Are you kidding me? Go! Is that actually damaging it? I don't think that's even damaging it, guys. Alright, guys. I've been playing this for a few goes now. It's really, really um, difficult. But I figured out when you can actually hit it. You can only hit it when the uh, when it fires the eggs. You see there? It fires the eggs once it's done that. It's vulnerable for some reason. Don't know why. Let's not question it. So, we can only attack it when it's done that egg attack. Like this. There we go. Because before, I was just trying to spam attacks at it, and it was, you know, it was never getting damaged. So let's keep running. This thing is insane. Looks like something from this game I used to play on the PlayStation 1 called Nightmare Creatures. It was a cool game back in the day. It does have a very PlayStation 1 looking, like, feel to it, doesn't it, this game? Man, this isn't too bad now I know what I'm doing with it. Before, it was like, I was getting quite annoyed. I was like, how is it this hard? But it's not actually that hard when you, when you know the uh, solution to the puzzle, I guess. It is kind of cool that everything in this game is like a puzzle, even the bosses. All right, do, do the egg attack. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead. Yes. Nice. I got a lot of damage Mom, there at the end. That was amazing. I know, right? That was cool. Clap for me. Right, let's go. Don't remember which way I came into the room. Ooh, look, the medallion piece. Medallion three. Back with these two. Okay, we're controlling her, but what do we do? Just walk out the doctor's office? Where are we going? Just into the void. Into space. Okay. Oh. She's having a baby. It's coming. It's got to be a little Esther, right? Okay, we're back together again. I guess we head this way then. Boom. Nice. We're back in the uh, play care by the look of it. It's just like that maze we went to once. Yes. At the carnival. With that creepy jester? We can get through this. Stay close. Cool. Let's do it. 
We're in a maze. I hate mazes, especially in video games, because I always get completely lost. I still have nightmares about that security breach maze. You guys remember that? The Chica maze. Oh no, they're sitting in here with us. Is that the jack-in-the-box thing? We still haven't seen that yet. Oh man. Maybe we can hit it with our attack though, right? Oh my god! That actually scared me! What the hell? That is a clown. Or, well, it's a jester, isn't it? It's a jester. Oh! Can you not attack it? Seriously? It only seems to move when we move. Okay, so we can't look at it. What we have to do is essentially listen to where the noise is coming from and keep looking in that direction at all times. So you can hear it like slightly start to move. When it does that, you need to be looking in its direction. Kind of like in Dark Deception with the statues, right? But the problem is... I don't know where I'm going. There it is, look at it. It's actually horrifying. Okay, now we should be able to get round. Because we led him all the way back to the start. We just need to kind of find our way around. <laughs> I swear if he jump scares me now when I think he's over there, I'm going to have a heart attack. No. No, man, you can't go through walls, can you? That's insane. Okay, it's this way, it's this way, it's this way. Now we go around here. Okay, I think we're going to do it this time, maybe. As long as I'm going the right direction. Which way would it be? Oh, it's here. We're out. Go, go, go. Yes, we made it. No, I hate spiders and carnivores. That was hard. But we're out. I feel like that was probably one of the most annoying parts of the game. A foul stench when I wake up. Ugh. Wait, what's happening? Oh no, it's one of these. Okay, out the way. Quick, move faster, Esther. One more will do it. Done. I'm glad we only have to fight one of those at a time. Look, the little glowing orbs over there. Let's just check we haven't missed anything in here. Nope. Okay, follow the glowing orb. There's that light again. I wonder if this is like Esther's mother guiding her. And look, another medallion piece for now. Oh, we're dead. Look, we're a ghost. We must have died during childbirth. Yeah, I reckon that light must be Esther's mother. The dad's just like, No, my love is dead. I wonder where the baby is. So, yeah, but was it like a complication during her birth by the look of it? It's kind of sad. Let's just head out then, I guess. Are we going to the afterlife? Yeah, look, she becomes the orb. We were right, guys. Boom. Those theories, live theories as we <laughs> play the game. Only two more medallions to go. Are you okay, Ruby? Ruby? <gasps> She's got taken again? Are you kidding me? She keeps getting taken. So now we're playing Where as Ruby again. We're in this uh, underground area once again. We don't have the powers, of course. Oh god, that's the entity. Please don't hurt me. You must be Ruby, a fitting name for such a valuable soul. I would not dare hurt you. You're the entity. What do you want from me? Only your safety, young Ruby, as well as my own from that grandmother of yours. Nana Esther? But she protects me. Young Ruby, she is not what she seems. Some time ago, she stole my medallions and imprisoned me here. Because you're evil. She saved us. We are cursed, forsaken, not evil. And this curse is a burden we must carry to help unfortunate souls cross over to the other side. The six make our suffering more bearable. They belong to me, and Esther is nothing more than a malicious thief. She will hurt you too, young Ruby. I don't believe you. You're lying. Is that so? Tell me, if she cared for you so deeply, 
Why would she give you a toy that has taken everything from you? Your parents are gone, your friends have abandoned you, and now you're all the way down here, in this dark abyss. But she... Don't you see? Esther thinks nothing of you. She has lied to you, and is now using you to steal what is rightfully mine. Help me find her, and I will give you everything. No. Don't, uh, don't believe it. Esther I once again. I can't believe we got separated again! I have to find her! Yeah, we gotta find Ruby. Save the day before she gets corrupted by the entity. Follow the lights. You have no idea how special you both are. Who are you? Why are you helping us? When the time comes, you will know. I don't get why they're always so mysterious. They should just say, if she's our mom, she should just go, I'm your mom, and uh, yeah, I'm trying to help you. Maybe it's too much information. Oh great, Mr. Hop. Can we go through this door? Can we go the opposite way? Do we have to go the way Mr. Hop was? I can't believe she's gone. Hmm, maybe that's the uh, husband writing that note then? About his wife that died? Kind of makes sense, right? Oh, we can go that way, we can go that way. I'm gonna go this way first. A hey, one of these law statues. With her mind and body frail, the Dark Lord emerged from his confinement and took back all that was rightfully his. Esther was imprisoned and, in his vengeance, made sure her daughter and granddaughter were to suffer a similar fate. Lovely. Pleasant character, isn't he? Yeah, let's go. Oh, okay, that's a lot of spikes. That's a lot, a lot of spikes. You have gone far enough, Esther. Give yourself to us. No, quiet, Isabel. We're not giving ourselves to you, you little freak. Maybe we can save Isabel. She kind of got corrupted, didn't she? Kind of like how Ruby's being corrupted now, actually. We don't want a similar fate to happen to Ruby. Oh man, we got another one of these caged key puzzles. I hate these. Um, how are we gonna get this one out then? We'll have to go the other way, I think. Through this door. Alright, this is a big area, guys. Yep, of course we've got another boss. This time it's Miss Bo. Whoa, okay. You can only attack her, I think, after she lands. So you remember how, like, the last one we could attack after it laid an egg? This one we attack after it lands. Let me just check that theory, though. Oh, it's rolling. It's like Crash Bandicoot. Come on, keep going. Whoa. Yeah, we can only hit her, I think, once she drops down. There we go. So just keep going now. Run, 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 run. Nice. Oh, we can hit her anyway. Okay. Scratch that, guys. We can hit her anyway. Oh, no, 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 no. My aim is off. Quick, 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 quick. Go, go, go! One more hit will do it. Let's uh, put this panda to out to pasture. There we go. We've turned it back into a toy. Not so scary now, are you? Still creepy, though. Ah, oh, that's probably opened the cage, right? So now we can go and get the key, hopefully get out of this place. That was pretty cool, that boss fight. Like, this isn't, like, the longest game, but there's a lot packed into it. Now, there's a lot of variety, there's puzzles, you know, there's kind of boss fights and stuff. It's pretty good. Do we get another piece of a medallion now? 
Let's hope so. And let's hope we've defeated the panda for good. Ooh. Alright, run. The house in which Esther had lived was realized in the underworld as a strong reminder to the entity of the shadows that she cannot ever be freed. Ooh, we can go through here. Oh, it's a boss fight again. We've got to fight him now. Okay, he actually fires like... He actually fires stuff out. Run! Run, 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 run! Die! He wasn't actually that bad. I just wailed on him a lot. We've turned him back into a harmless toy. We'll go this way and we'll just check out in case we've missed like anything along the way. Oh, there's a note. I can't do this without her. Yeah, so that was the dad probably talking, as we said, after the, the mom passed away after the baby was born, which I think was Esther. So he maybe couldn't, he felt like he couldn't um, handle things on his own. So he gave Esther up for adoption. I think that's what's happened. Okay, well, I think we've got everything we need. So let's head over to the door and continue. Yeah, look, he's giving the baby up for adoption. Taking it to Blackwood's Manor. There's that horrible nun. Give my family back to me, and I won't have to break all of your toys! <laughs> that doesn't sound like much of a threat, does it? Okay. Nasty creature. And we took damage. Destroy these and hopefully the gate will open. Yep, there we go. Now it's going to be Mr. Hop, surely. Yeah. Here he is. The uh, head honcho himself, right? Oh man, he's going absolutely nuts. Die, Mr. Hop! Whoa, okay. That attack is pretty mad. Run. Ah, what the heck? Turning into a spider. Creepy thing. Run, 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 run. Almost, 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 almost. Just avoid that vortex. Ah! Okay. Whoa. One more hit will do it. We did it. Yes. And we got the final medallion piece. There we go. Mr. Hop defeated. You have all failed me. I will destroy her myself. You're not going to do anything. All right, let's go. <laughs> Where is she? Young is right here, safe with me. Ruby, are you okay? Young Ruby has come to her senses and is now my subordinate. She no longer wants anything to do with you. You gave me that toy, Nana. You took my life away from me. You're the reason I'm even here. Ruby, I never would have given Mr. Hop to you if I could have helped it. They took control of me. I'm so sorry that I couldn't protect you. Another lie. You're still my little gem, right? <laughs> Enough of this. You will fall here, Esther. I feel like we're going to get the bad ending at this rate. <gasps> Nana? No, we got the bad ending. My little gem. How do we get the good ending? Is that seriously the end? Man, that's kind of, um, that's kind of weird. So, how do we actually, like, get the good ending, then? That's what I want to know. Because that was very abrupt. It seems like, you know, Ruby was returned to her old life, but 
you know, Esther was destroyed by the entity in the process as part of like the bargain. I think maybe to get the good ending we'd have to collect all the gems up. So we didn't have all the gems for 1B. Yeah, we'd have to go back to the, the stages that I think we didn't get all the gems in and collect up all the gems. And then that would maybe unlock the good ending. Okay guys, I've gone through all the levels now and I've collected up the remaining missing gems. There was one level in particular, the maze level, where it was really, really hard. But we've now got, as you can see, every single one. So I'm hoping that we can go to the finale stage now. It still says it's locked. Maybe we have to replay the last stage? I'll try doing that. Okay, I've done the last level again, guys. Let's see if we can now get to the good ending, because I've got all the gemstones. Hopefully it works. <laughs> Where is she? Young Ruby is right here, safe with me. Ruby, are you okay? Young Ruby has come to her senses and is now my subordinate. She no longer wants anything to do with you. You gave me that toy, Nana. You took my life away from me. You're the reason I'm even here. Ruby, I never would have given Mr. Hop to you if I could have helped it. They took control of me. I'm so sorry that I couldn't protect you. Another lie. You're still my little gem, right? <laughs> Enough of this. You will fall here, Esther. <laughs> hey! Yeah, it works. <gasps> Because we got all the gems. No! Damn, that was kind of brutal. Ruby, can you hear me? Say something! Foolish. That compassion you sacred ones insist on carrying is what makes you so weak. You both will die here. It's time to uh, put an end to the entity, I think, guys. <laughs> She's going Super Saiyan there. Wow, she's like a guardian angel. What the now, hell? It is you who will experience fear. Yeah, let's do it. So yeah, you had to collect up all the gems. So when she says little gem, obviously it works for reasons. Shoot, uh, dash, parry block. Okay, so shoot, dash, block. Okay, cool. Got it. Wow, okay. This is cool. Okay, this is hard though. We have to, we have to block. <laughs> this is kind of epic. Okay, I died instantly though. Man, this is hard. Look at him snarling. We gotta focus, guys. Focus mode. Oh man, the bite! The bite is the hardest one. I can't seem to block it. I'm not quick enough. Okay. I'm going to hit him until he fires those at last minute. Boost away, boost away, boost away, boost away. I'm just going to lay into him. His energy bar is so big. Look at it. Oh, we stunned him. Nice. That was good. So we can actually parry him. Boost, boost, boost. Yeah, we need to parry him when he tries to attack us. What the heck? It's got it's got lyrics. The music's actually got lyrics. That's nuts. Oh, we got them again. Nice. And again. Awesome, guys. This is kind of cool. This is satisfying. This boss is tough, though. He's got so much energy, but we're, we're chipping it down. Oh, no. He took damage. Come on. I'm not dying now. I've come too far. No. No. I'm gonna die, I can just tell. Or maybe not, maybe not. Block. No! I'm gonna throw it away. One more hit. Yes! We did it, guys! Oh my god, that took me so long. We defeated the entity. Screw you. Wow, Nana. You look 
look amazing! Uh, I'm sorry I didn't trust you. Don't be silly. Everything's okay now. I think Mum and Dad are waiting for you up there. What? You're not coming? The entity said this place must have a ruler, and someone needs to keep all these souls in check. She's gonna Besides, be the new devil. There's no place for an old girl like me on the surface anymore. I will watch over all of you. Always. Goodbye, Nana. Aww. I am so proud of you, Esther. Yeah, Faith must be Esther's mother. She's not having it, is she? She's like, no, don't give me that. There we go, we got the good ending. Everything's okay now. So that is actually the good ending, guys. And we unlocked both endings, look at that. Oh, but Isabel's still around. Okay, well that was a cool ending. I actually thought that was pretty epic with the boss fight. And it had some closure to the story with Esther now taking over the entity's duties in the underworld, governing over all of these lost souls down there. I will be doing a story explain video, guys, for those of you that would like further explanation for the story. We'll walk through it. And of course, you can pair that with my story explained for Mr. Hop's Playhouse 1 and 2, which I'll link at the end of this video if you'd like a catch up of all the events leading up to this one. But there we go, guys. That is Mr. Hop's complete. Look, we've gone through all the different levels now, as you can see. We've actually got this area as well. I think this is kind of like maybe a mini game area. I'm not going to dive into that in this video. But yeah, we uh, we did it. We got both endings and finished the game. I actually had a good time with this game. I thought it was pretty darn good. And again, if you guys want to check this out for yourselves, there is a link in the description to the Steam page. You can go and download it and see what you think of it for yourself. But that brings us to the end of today's video and my playthrough of Mr. Hop's Playhouse 3. I hope you guys did enjoy watching me play through this game, and if you did, remember to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I will see you all on the next one.